Yo, what's up guys? It is Key P with BeatsByKey.com. Today I am sharing with you um, how to install one of my FL vocal preset kits um, into FL Studio. So this is for if you've ever purchased or download any of my vocal preset kits. I wanted to uh, go into detail or into more detail on how to install and make sure that you get everything set up properly. So the first thing that you actually wanna do and I have, I actually have my my preset kit right here pulled up. I have Party Next Door's vocal preset kit. So the first thing that you actually want to do is install Ab Abstract Chamber or any VST that is in the kit. So I may put, um, you know, like a free VST in there, like Spitfish as well, or any other uh, VST that I feel is necessary. Go ahead and install those first. If you don't know how to install it, just watch tutorials on YouTube on how to install VSTs in FL Studio. So that's all you got to do. You just got to look it up and make sure that everything is properly installed correctly. So once that is all set, the next thing that you want to do and is uh, is make sure that your template is is correct. I mean, I guess you don't necessarily have to do this, but if you go to File, New from Template, Minimal, and go to Empty with Four Sends, that's the that's the template that I use when I first start out recording vocals. What this does is it gives you and it enables you Four Sends right here and uh, a whole lot of insert slots that you probably won't even use, but the fact that we have them the more the merrier the fact that we have them the better it is for us recording if it is closed right here all you got to do is open this bar you just by left clicking and it pops open the next thing that you want to do is uh record your vocals as you can see here my main vocals are already recorded my ad libs are already recorded and then you got the beat right here once your vocals are recorded you just want to drop and drag these main vocals and ad lib vocals, reverb sends and delay sends. If it comes with all those, you just wanna drag it to the to the proper spot. So right here, since it's a main vocal, I'm gonna drop and drag that into insert two. It doesn't matter what insert that you, you have it on. Just make sure that the target mixer track right here is properly set to the correct number in your mixer slot. So you can see here that my main vocal is tracked to two in the mixer, and you can see that that it's properly set. So you got that there, and the next thing that you wanna do is drag the ad lib vocals into insert three, or you know whatever is easier. I have it color coded so it's a lot easier to look at, but you can see here that my ad lib vocals are set to three. You know, to move them, left click, hold it down, and you could drag it to whatever slot you want. An easier way too is using the scroll wheel. So scroll up if you want to um, change the track to whatever you want. The next thing that you wanna do is drag the sends. So you got the reverb send and the delay sends. You wanna put those in the sends and you can see that it, it's a sends because it says sends right there. And these are your sends. Um, I already dropped and dragged these into the, the proper spot. Um, but just in case you didn't know what I did, I can just tack these to the middle right now. And you can see that I have two sends right here. So I'm gonna drag the reverb send to the proper spot right there and you got your reverb send. And then I'm gonna drop and drag the delay send to the proper spot right there. So now you can see that everything is set up. Now what you wanna do is go to the Party Next Door preset notes. And if you open that, you can see that it says the main vocal send to reverb is turned to 85%. So what you do is you go to your main vocals and it should be already connected. If it's not, all you gotta do is left click the main vocals right here. Just enable it by pressing this button, left clicking, and it enables a knob and you can select both of them because it you want the main vocals to be attached to the reverb and delay send. So the reverb, it said that you turn it up to 85%. So you can look right here and I'm turning it to 85%. You can tell by the top left corner of the screen, the more you turn it up, the more percent it's gonna show. So 
I have that set to 85 and the next thing I have it said 30% so I turn the delay to 30% and now your main vocals are all set now you do the next thing with the ad libs and what you do is look, we'll go back to our notes and we see that the ad lib send reverb is sent is set to 85% and the ad lib vocal send to delay is turned to 32% so what you do is you take the ad libs 85% again right around there and then you take this up to 32% these percentages are what I use for the ad libs and main vocals but you don't necessarily have to use those percentages. I mean, if you want more delay, you could simply um, do that by turning it up more. If you want less delay, just turn it down more. You can mess around with it. It doesn't necessarily have to be where I said it's supposed to be. You know, this gives you the opportunity to mess around with the reverb and delay as much as you want. So that's pretty much it. I mean, everything else is set up for you. I tried to make it as easy as possible, but uh, if you, if you do have any questions, you know, just feel free to ask me. I'm always trying to respond as quickly as I can to anybody that has questions about this. So, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial. Let's say you, you forgot to find this video, don't worry. All you gotta do is go to the FL Vocal Preset Install Instructions, and in there is a link to this YouTube video. So you, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't ever have to get lost. It should be pretty easy for you to find. Until next time, I hope you guys have a blessed day and peace.